Okay, so part four of the beginner's guide how to ride a automatic scooter, how to ride a motor scooter. I want to focus on a slow ride. Now a slow ride, the concept is, slow rides come in handy when you're negotiating a car park or you're doing some lane filtering or lane splitting. So you come up to a big traffic jam and you see bikes weaving in and out of traffic to get to the front you need to be able to control your bike at low speeds. Now just keep in mind, um, physics works, when your bike is going, it stays upright. This is to do with centrifugal force. So if your engine is going, your power is going, your bike stays upright. And you've probably seen videos, or you've even done it maybe with your bicycle, uh, on a bicycle when growing up. You can even take your hands off the wheel. You can take your hands off the handlebar because your bike is going to stay upright. Your bicycle, your scooter, whatever it might be, stays upright. That is the, that's the, the, the principles of physics you want to keep your bike upright. So this is, if you remember back to one of my earlier videos, is recommend doing all these exercises while you're doing just in a straight line to start with because that's where the bike works best. Um, now, if you go at a low speed, you don't have that centrifugal force at work. So your bike starts to wobble. <coughs> so when you're at low speed, to prevent that wobble, what I'm going to show you as a technique is by using the rear brake to keep your power, the power of the bike, to keep your bike upright. So I'm going to do a demonstration of riding at, far, at high speed and then at low speed. And you'll compare the two. One, you'll see the bike stay upright. And one you'll see the bike wants to wobble a little bit. So that first little demonstration was when I had the power going, the bike stays nice and upright. That last little demonstration was that me at low speed, and I wasn't actually exaggerating too much, but this, to try and keep the bike upright, I am trying to balance. So this technique is, is a, it's called the slow ride like manoeuvre, and it's using the rear brake. So the principle basically applies. When this engine is going strong and hard and fast, in the, the centrifugal force, um, or often um, the centrifugal force will keep the bike upright but the problem is I want to keep the bike upright but I don't actually want to go so that's why we use the rear brake so we control the speed with our rear brake but we control this centrifugal force momentum with our throttle so I'll just show you what that looks like so I'm going to be applying the throttle and my rear brake and you'll see how slow I can go but I can maintain that upright position so throttle's on, rear brake's on. I have maximum control right now. So my throttle is on, rear brake's applied. Watch what happens when I release the brake. So part four is you're getting used to your slow ride. This is a slow ride maneuver. So using your throttle, but keeping your rear brake on to control the speed. Recently I rented a motorcycle and when I jumped on the rental motorcycle, the rear brake was so soft and weak that it wouldn't actually stop the motorcycle. So when I took off, I thought this rear brake's not very, I can't stop with this rear brake. So I took it back to the rental guy and I said, can we tighten this uh, rear brake up a little bit? And he said, no, 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 no need to worry because the rear brake, rear brake is just for control, but the front brake is how you stop. 
So this was a simple, the, the message basically was that his idea was you don't stop with this rear brake, you can just control, control your speed. Uh, point aside, I did get the rear brake jacked up a little bit so it could actually work a little bit better. But the principle still applies. So think of it, think, when you're thinking of your two braking systems, the front brake and the rear brake, think of your rear brake as the controlling your momentum, controlling your speed. And it's going to be very important when we move on to the next lesson, which is about turns, doing turns and U-turns and figure eights, controlling your momentum and speed with the rear brake, but using the front brake to bring your brake, uh, bike to a stop. Now, I'm just going to set up a little... This is something you can do when you're getting familiar with, the, with your bike. Set yourself up a nice little lane that you've got to stay between. And you're imagining you're, you're weaving through two parked cars. Not parked cars, stationary cars that are at a red light. How do you get through those, those get past or between those two stationary cars without knocking their mirrors or wobbling the bike? So I'm going to set up a little path. And this is what you can do at home to practice this slow ride maneuver. So you can use whatever you've got. I've used some shuttlecocks here, but basically I'm going to be practicing doing a slow ride and keeping the motorcycle in between this path here. So in a real life scenario, picture that a, a car is parked here at a, or sitting here at a red light and a truck is here and you want to weave in between the two and you don't want to be wobbling your bike through and running into them. So you're going to practice controlling your bike through this situation you're going to be having your rear brake on but you're also going to be applying your throttle so you can sit up set up this and practice this wherever wherever you can get a back street get tennis balls get shuttle cocks get shoes whatever it is but set up a neat little path so you can practice this slow ride Okay, another thing is, uh, and I mentioned this when we talked about posture, when you put your knees out or your legs out, your bike will start to wobble. Wobble. You've got best control when your knees are in, close to the engine, close to the bike, and your feet are tucked in as well. So if you, as soon as you start putting your knees out, your bike will naturally wobble. So that's today's lesson, is the slow ride maneuver. Trying to control your bike at slow, trying to get as slow as possible, but still keeping your bike upright. So this is really important when you're in car parks, trying to find your where you're gonna park your bike, or in the lane splitting or lane filtering situation when there's a, there's a traffic jam and you're weaving your way between bikes and passing, uh, sorry, weaving between cars to to uh, yeah pass them to get to a to to get further ahead. So this is a slow ride maneuver.